Ye can take one man's trash to another man's treasure, but ye can't make it drink. Fun fact, the blending of idioms or cliches is called a malaphore. My personal favorite is, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rather fond of it's not rocket surgery and not the sharpest egg in the attic. <laughs> but my all-time favorite is until the cows freeze over. Those poor cows. <laughs> You've opened this can of worms, now lie in it. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> the only one that I'm really familiar with is You're not the sharpest light bulb in the crayon box Owned <laughs> he, he, You gotta say owned after or else it doesn't count <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving into r slash brand new sentence Which I don't even think I've looked at for at least like Two years? Maybe three now? <laughs> and honestly, I'm really excited to see all of the different ways you've come up with to say the new, the same things, but in a new way or, or entirely new things for sentences never before written found in the wild. Better way to put it. I should have just, I should have led with that one. <laughs> all right, let's get started. My stepsister in Christ. How did you get stuck in the washing machine? I feel like the longer I do these videos, the more and more I will start to get these references. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> My wife watching the news. Ah, some idiot tried to fight a squid at the aquarium. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in ink. <laughs> well, maybe the squid was being a about it. You don't know. <laughs> I'm on his side. I <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Dating a skinny girl is all cool till you lock her out of the room and she slide under the door. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. Lad Bible. People divided over the real name of the game where you knock on someone's door and run away. Never felt the disgust in my life of being Scottish and calling it chappy. But having my English boyfriend reveal he calls it Nicky Knocky Nine Doors. What in the Charles Dickens is that? Wait. <laughs> we said that when I was growing up. <laughs> I thought... I thought Ding Dong Ditch was just a thing in American movies. Am I the weird one? Oh my God. What did all of you say growing up? Somebody in the comments gonna be real smart and say, we didn't play this game because we respected our elders. Yeah. And you were probably the fun one around the teen meet saw cop Christian punch bowl weekend afternoon friendly meetup pre Bible study event celebration of faith club. Weren't you? <laughs> Gummy vitamins are useless! Oh, I didn't realize having a regularly scheduled scrumptious little morsel was useless, but okay. I'm not saying this clock the wife got from Kmart is terrible, but the alarm didn't go off this morning and the time is now 9.77, with a 59% chance of it being 17 degrees. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> I dated a guy with the same name as my brother, and when we had adult fun time, I refused to moan his name, so I moaned his gamer tag. Modern problems require modern solutions. I... My hat is off to you. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> I feel like I won the lottery. The whole bag is like this. I'm the luckiest man in the world. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. You flew too close to the sun, Cool Ranch Icarus. <laughs> oh no, they died. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that That is... That is very cool Ranch Icarus of you to do, though. <laughs> I'm rewatching House and holy darn, this show is bananas. They just let this man limp around doing medical crimes all day, every day, including Christmas. Patient. I have a cough. Dr. House, first of all, you. Your shoes look a little loose. Your hair is ugly. Chase, check this man's butthole for worms. Dr. Chase, unbelievable. Only the second ever case of butthole worms. How did you? I was playing air guitar on his cane. <laughs> Uh, I love that show. <laughs> Nukes are dropping outside. Me! <gasps> oh, f 
Yeah! Sprinting to the bathroom so I could be an environmental storytelling toilet skeleton. Storytelling toilet skeleton. Oh. Oh! What? <laughs> fair. <laughs> I feel like far more of us than we expect are going to be environmental storytelling toilet skeletons. <laughs> like every duck and cover video, every like terrible disaster video we watch is like, oh yeah, go hide in the bathroom. What's in a bathroom? Our toilet. What's it going to do? Tell a story. <laughs> Depending on how long it takes us to die in there. It, yeah. <laughs> it might be up to all sorts of stuff. Homelander. Oh, also Homelander. Oh my goodness. There's someone who loves milk. Why did y'all have to adult, adultanize it? Milk. It's already pretty adultanized. It's literally mommy estrogen booby water. It's like a Freud or a liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Literally mommy estrogen booby water. <laughs> Please. I, what does this even mean? Hello, Jeffrey. Unfortunately, due to company policy, we are unable to offer positions to people with the name J Jeffrey since it will not work with our database schema. <laughs> Somewhere in there, their boss is spelled Jeffrey with a G-E-O-P-H-R-E-Y. And they're like, no, this is the only way to spell Jeffrey, and I will not stand to be corrected. Sorry, Jeffrey. <laughs> My ancestors, who lived when minor indigestion was a death sentence, looking over in horror as I ingest Takis and a milkshake past 9 p.m., having diarrhea for fun. <laughs> for fun! <laughs> Myself and mocking God! <laughs> Do they still make as many commercials about diarrhea as they made when I was a kid? Do you remember those? They were, <laughs> they were everywhere. Why were there so many? <laughs> my ancestors looking over my shoulder disappointedly as I'm eating sensibly when I could have been living like this. <laughs> like a king. <laughs> I think the funniest thing a company has ever done for Pride Month is producing these joyless, gray, heterosexual Skittles. To be fair to Skittles, it's pretty cool that every year they actually drop like a hundred grand every Pride just for charities. Skittles doing some good stuff. Even though the gray Skittles, they're a bit weird. Okay, Skittles? It's gotta be said. <laughs> Me! At a certain point in a relationship, you get to the point where you've seen your partner's butthole more than they have themselves. And I think there's something beautiful in that. The priest! Uh, the bride has also chosen to write her own vows. How often? How often are you supposed to see yours? Excuse me? When I was 10 or so, I was deathly afraid of vampires. So I stole the garlic powder from my mom's spice cabinet and kept it in my coat. And if I was out at night with like my parents and thought someone was acting really sus, I'd try to surreptitiously sprinkle a little garlic powder on them. Like imagine a weird little girl deciding you failed the vibe check and promptly seasoning you. Yeah. Just like a really young little Constantine in training, you know? <laughs> Founder of Costco. Drunk as hell. Is gonna have hot dogs and optometrists. And the hot dogs will be 99 cents forever or I'll kill someone. In Minecraft. <laughs> That's a real quote. That is what really happened. The, mine the Minecraft part was me, but... <laughs> my wife! Ugh, here comes Brad. From my work? Me! Ah, uh, which one is he again? The guy that says the things that you can never tell if it's a compliment or an insult. <laughs> Brad. Well, 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 someone smells like muffin mix. <laughs> <laughs> I, what does muffin mix smell like? <laughs> Brad? <laughs> Brad, what do you mean? <laughs> the Bank of Canada! <laughs> yes, our only bank. <laughs> Urges Star Trek fans to stop spocking their fibers. No! I remember that. I also remember when the Bank of Canada had to come out and tell people that, no, we don't actually use maple syrup in our construction of our money. <laughs> that is a real thing that they had to tell people. And I'll be honest, if you keep the money in an envelope somewhere for a little while, it kind of, it does. It smells like maple syrup. If you know anyone in Canada, 
You can ask them. <laughs> it's true. I don't often get sick, but when I do, I instantly become a frail Victorian child. Asking mother for permission to be carried into the garden to see the sun one last time. <gasps> before the consumption takes hold. It's me. <laughs> asparagus grows like it's trying to prank some idiot into thinking this is how asparagus grows. <laughs> oh, you stuffed them there yourself, didn't you? No, 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 no. I swear this is how they grow. <laughs> you say that it's that gingerbread men live in gingerbread houses. But to a gingerbread person, gingerbread is as inscrutable and fundamental as carbon. The people and homes are no more alike than humans are to diamonds. Only we, their gods and creators, can see and witness the horror. June 2021. The guy sitting next to us in the theater was definitely making a bootleg, and I hope that when people watch it on 123 Movies and get to the scene where the sandworm first appears, they hear my boyfriend say, The Forbidden Butthole! <laughs> Stop. A cute girl told me she has lots of plants in her house, and I told her, for some f***ing reason. Ha <laughs> ha. Damn, the oxygen at your place must be mad crisp. <laughs> and somehow still got her number, so chase your dreams. Nothing is impossible. Apparently. <laughs> My favorite college memory was accidentally skipping class on the first Monday of deer season, freshman year, because I legitimately thought that it was a national holiday that meant no school and didn't realize I just went to a yeehaw high school. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you millennial leftists who never lived one day under nuclear threat can now reflect upon your woke sky. What? <laughs> you made quite a non-binary fuss to save the world from intercontinental ballistic tweets. <laughs> we're not entirely sure what this tweet is supposed to mean, and we're literally the dictionary. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look at this lemon meringue penguin. <gasps> it's a lemon meringue win. Oh my god. <laughs> they forgot to add the throbbing vein to my Mars bar. Day ruined. They wh what? Oh. Oh, that is unnaturally smooth. I <laughs> yeah, put it back. I <laughs> I'll never understand people who get in the fast lane just to drive the speed limit. This lane is for crime! A robofish created by the researchers at New Poly was left to interact with normal fish. It was accepted by them and soon guided them as a leader. Oh, oh, oh. source! All hail the cyberfish! It's a good source. <laughs> what idiot called it a randomized clinical trial controlled with placebo and not trick or treatment. A German man just came into the pub and tried asking for cutlery, but ended up saying, I need some food weapons. <laughs> And I will now be referring to them by nothing else. You give me disposable food weapons? How do you expect me to vanquish my steak? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing you're supposed to be doing. You have no more purpose than the birds in the sky. Go lots of places. Be poor on things. <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> it's decent advice. <laughs> the word cuttle in cuttlefish comes from the old English word cuttle, meaning cuttlefish. Sets entire English language on fire. Thereby showing that the phenomenon that gave us gems like pin number and ATM machine, also known as the self-demonstrating RAS syndrome, i.e. redundant acronym syndrome syndrome, is actually age old. I hate this. <laughs> this is fantastic. There are two types of people. <laughs> this roach stuff helps your skin. So excuse me? La Roach Jose. Okay. Okay. Primafee.com. Why do so many murderers bury their victims in their own backyards? Um, not everyone has the trunk space or gas money to drive way out in the middle of nowhere to dump their bodies. Check your privilege. We're all out here doing the best we... We're all doing the best we can out here. 
Mandy! <laughs> Mandy, don't tell on yourself. No. <laughs> Mandy, no. <laughs> Does anybody else carefully choose the last bite of food at the end of your meal so that your mouth can remember it? Yeah. Because <laughs> if I don't set aside some food, then occasionally I'll forget that I'm eating while I'm eating until I'm done eating. That'll be like, no. <laughs> Why are edibles always like cookies and candy and such? What if I want psychoactive ham? Honey, what's wrong? You haven't touched your thrice baked potato. The potato that bakes you back. I mean, uh, <laughs> you can make butter with it, right? So I guess the limit's just your imagination at that point, right? Like, what can't you put butter on? You can even put it on corn. <laughs> I'm trying to find nice loafers. And my girlfriend laughed at me for checking Reddit, saying that the guys there wouldn't know. Now on an 800 post thread where dudes are berating each other about leather quality. They know so much about loafers. It ruined their lives. I'm on the right site. People with good singing voices should not be allowed to do karaoke. Sorry, but it's not fun to watch you do a little star surge performance. I'm here to see drunk Keith fight for his life through living on a prayer as God intended. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> We're halfway there. Whoa! <laughs> you go drunk, Keith. <laughs> I hope the woman who forgot the word iced and so asked me for a caramel macchiato on the rocks yesterday is doing well. She sounds really classy. <laughs> I don't know if that was a mistake. That sounds like an awesome way to order stuff. Except I don't like ice. None for me. <laughs> I know MFs were giggling in the Trojan horse like, Oh my god, Palpius, stop it! You're gonna get us in trouble! <laughs> I saw a great TikTok on this. <laughs> the guy in the horse being like, Yay, wow, we're sneaking in. They'll horse. never suspect us. What a wonderful <laughs> present. I should bring this into the city so that everyone can enjoy it. Just goes to show there are still good people in the world. And after all I've been through with the illness and all my friends and family dying. I so laugh bad. endlessly this at historical really jokes like that. IDG, why people are against busty women in turtlenecks. Who cares if you have a uniboob? To whom do you owe separate and defined titans? Only cowards and fools fear the booby monolith. Do you ever just suddenly learn there's apparently a whole discourse you've never heard of before? <laughs> yes? Yeah, all the time. I'm always learning new things and constantly forgetting things that I get to learn all over again. It's half the fun. A shipment of baby wipes turns out to be $11.8 million worth of, uh, snow. <laughs> <laughs> While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a clapping, as of cheeks gently flapping, clapping at my chamber door. Tis a visitor, I muttered, dummy thick and nothing more. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh. This dish has another name. Hergotsker Hergotsker Burger Hergotsker Rotisserie Chicken. Or Fool the Lord. Because of the story of how it first came about. One of the most popular theories is that the monks of Malbron Monastery, hence the Maltostashin, didn't want to go without meat during Lent observance, so they concealed the forbidden food from the sight of the Lord by enclosing it in pasta dough. <laughs> <laughs> the ravioli of lying to God. <laughs> God. Uh, what are you eating? This monk. <laughs> Choose faster. <laughs> hey, what is that you've got? A knife. No. <laughs> when my grandma died, she set her husband up with her best friend as a parting gift. She's now buried on one side of him with her best friend on the other. 40 years later, and my family is suing each other to dig up her corpse and move it because there's no threesomes in heaven. Wow. I assumed heaven was nothing but threesomes. <laughs> Can't take it back, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry fam, grandma's probably having threesomes in heaven. As a trans woman married to a cis woman, I'm in what I call Schrodinger's marriage. Conservatives tell me that my marriage isn't legitimate because they oppose two women being married, while at the same time calling me a man. In which case, they should have no problem, right? Haha, <laughs> checkmate. <laughs>
It's almost 1 a.m., but in the song Bell from Beauty and the Beast, the villagers sing, I need six eggs, that's too expensive. And then later in the song Gaston, Gaston says, When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. Now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly as large as a barge. Gaston has been eating dozens of eggs every day for his entire life and is single-handedly creating an artificial egg scarcity in the village and driving up egg prices. This economy is in shambles. Me, writing the beginning of my book. Ooh, the plot thickens. Me, writing the middle of my book. Hmm, the plot thinnens. Adds a sprinkle of cornstarch to the plot and stirs. No, you're supposed to mix the cornstarch into a slurry before adding it to your soup. It'll clump up in hot water. No, the plot clumpins. <laughs> when I get DoorDash, I order 20 cheeseburgers at a time and heat them up throughout the week so that I don't have to pay the delivery fee multiple times. I hope you understand how food poisoning works. I hope food poisoning understands how I work. I never met a burger I couldn't eat. Good morning. I am awake at 3.30 a.m. because there are two koalas outside our bedroom window. And if you have never ever heard a koala before, I am jealous because they sound terrible. They're, they're not wrong. It's kind of horrifying. <laughs> Teaching sex ed in school will only make students want to have adult fun time. Yeah, right. I had math in school and it really made me want to math hard all the time. <laughs> My dog is useless. Yesterday, we were both chased by another dog. Homie, you're the leader of that pack. If your dog sees you running, I, I, that's why they're running. <laughs> I want emo versions of idioms. Like instead of you're barking up the wrong tree, it's you're panicking at the wrong disco. You can lead a horse to evanescence, but you can't bring him to life. This isn't my first black parade. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, the more often you say these, the more likely they are to catch on. So... Have at it. Bring him, bring, bring, bring these to life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my beard is a weirdos. That was her dive into r slash brand new sentence. I forgot how much I enjoyed this one. This was a lot of fun. I think I'll start. Yeah, I think I'll start going through a bunch of the old ones that we used to cover that we haven't done in ages. Like when was the last time we did a thanks? I hate this or terrible snacks, bad snacks, not real snacks. What are broke a bone. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you want to see me cover next, whether it's an older videos subreddit or a brand new one that I've never touched before. I'm more than happy to go through. All right, my British and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> All right. Get out of here.